welcome to today's lesson. This is going to be a great standalone lesson if you do want to jump right in, but if you find anything too difficult, go check out my Rockabilly guitar for the complete beginner. It's my free YouTube course. But this could be perfect for you, so have a crack. You'll have seen from the beginning of the video that I'm doing a, a very Rockabilly rhythm. There's a little bit of an addition with a finger on the left hand and we've got a little bit of down strumming, up strumming. There's a little bit of muting as well. So we're taking a bit of a step from the last lesson where we were just strumming up and down, but I'm going to break it down for you with the tabs on screen. I know you can do it. Just do what I say. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is pick the sixth string and then strum down and up. Just like that. So we're holding the E chord. I should have probably mentioned that. The next thing we do is we put our palm on the strings with the pick on the bottom side of the strings, on the lower side of the strings, like closer to the ground. So just tap the pick or place your palm. Doesn't really matter as long as you get that palm down because we actually want to block the strings up. So like that. And then we put our pinky on the second string, second fret. And you pick upwards, okay? So strum upwards okay challenging but just take your time so. and then we strum up but we lift that pinky okay so we're back to a regular E chord okay when we put the pinky down on the second fret of the second string okay that is an E6 so Okay, so hopefully you're starting to get that. I'll do it really slow. And we start again off the back of that up strum. We start again straight away. change to the A chord and the good news is nearly everything with the right hand is the same but we're playing the A chord now you might you know if you find the next bit difficult you could play the A with the first second and third but I would try and do it this way the regular way to play it an A um, because what we're going to do we're going to pick on the fifth string strum down up drop the pick down okay below there just like we did before so pick down, up, drop, with the palm touching the strings. Then we swing up, and my pinky is on the first string, third fret, so I've just relocated it like that. We bring it down, and we lift back to an A, and start again. Now, if you do get a bit of noise going from pinky to the second string, like I just did then, I actually knocked the open second string, it's okay. It's rockabilly, and rockabilly is rock and roll and it's near enough for rock and roll. From the start. Let's go to the A now. Now we'll do a B7, and remember, we just switch the third finger and the first finger, like that, make a little triangle, okay, and put your pinky on the first string, and we do the same thing, so, but now we don't have to do anything fancy with the left hand. A little bit of a grey strum there as I lifted my fingers to go back to an E, that's fine, so... Okay, and we return back to an E. So I'll play the whole thing one more time, nice and slow, uh, with the tabs on screen so you can see the layout of it. It might take you time to get the pattern with the right hand. That can get a little bit confusing. So just spend a bit of time on that before you worry about the next part. You know, you can watch the whole video, obviously, but don't feel like you're meant to nail it all at the end of a five-minute lesson, or however long this ends up going for. So here we go. that. 
that. Now, I want to talk about that little lick that I did at the end because I just, this is a little addition to the pentatonic stuff you're already doing. Last week we did. We did that as a lick out of our pentatonic scale. Which hopefully you've been practicing that. We're going to add a note now. So we're going to, we're going to add the second fret on the first string. Then we're going to play third fret, second fret. Now we're going to continue further down the scale. Second fret on the third string, open. Second fret on the fourth string, and then strum another E chord. So on the first string, three, two, O. Second string, three, two, O. Third string, two, O. And then two on the fourth string. The other thing I want you to do is practice that with alternate picking. We want to start thinking about speed for later with that right hand down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. Okay, I don't know if you could hear me over the guitar, but I was just, you know, down, then up, then down, then up. You want to get used to that as soon as possible. So that is it. That's everything from today's lesson. I hope you really enjoyed that. Give me some feedback. Are the lessons too hard, too easy? Of course, if you're really liking the lessons, jump over to the Patreon. You can flick me a couple dollars a month. It really helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.